Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I'm an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your health and um, improve your health not only in the month of Ramadan but also after the month of Ramadan as well. During this program we'll be going through different information and different um, evidence that suggests what are the different ways that we can do to improve our health. During times when we are constantly bombarded with all sorts of information about health and about food and about diet, sometimes we're left confused over well, what are the things that we can do. So during this program we'll help you to gauge through that information and find out what are the things that you can be doing. Today's episode is all about the benefits of fasting and how fasting um, helps to improve our health. In terms of the science, it's still catching up with fasting, uh, as in there's a, some research to suggest that it has many different benefits on the body, but the evidence is not con conclusive enough yet. However, there's many different versions of fasting. Uh, when we look at the science or the research, um, we've got intermittent fasting, which is when you have a time eating window, during the rest of the time you don't eat. Um, the other type of fasting is what we call the 5-2, which is five days a week you eat your regular amount, two days a week you eat much less, which could also be considered fasting. In general, some of the benefits of fasting have um, are things include things like um, improving your blood glucose levels. Now, this is very important when someone is at high risk of developing diabetes or already diabetic. By them fasting, they're teaching their body to not rely on um, insulin um, as the main source of energy because that glucose is not there or that energy source is not there. And that's why blood um, sugar levels are better managed when people fast. Another great benefit of fasting is that it helps to reduce inflammation. Now, this inflammation is what we call chronic inflammation. Inflammation is a natural way of the immune system of your body. However, when our body is constantly um, inflamed over a long period of time, that could increase things like uh, or the risk of things like heart attack, cancer, arthritis, because those are linked with inflammation. Fasting has been shown to reduce inflammation, which would improve our health in the long term. Another great benefit of fasting is that it helps to reduce risk of coronary heart disease, lowers blood pressure, improves blood cholesterol and blood uh, and the triglycerides as well in our blood. Um, and that uh, as well is another great benefit of fasting. Uh, a, a final benefit of fasting is that it helps us um, it, some uh, science or evidence suggests that by fasting it helps, it helps improve brain function. However, these studies are limited to animals such as mice rather than actual um, uh, humans. However, the science there is quite promising that um, it can reduce um, things like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's um, all as a result of fasting. However, like I said, the evidence around that is not 100% in terms of humans because we only see those benefits in, uh, in uh, mice or in animals. But overall, there are many great benefits of fasting. But it's not always the case that, you know, if I fast, that means I'm not necessarily going to develop those things. It's more of um, overall, these are the types of uh, benefits of fasting. Thank you for joining us today. And um, I hope you now know some of the benefits of fasting. Thank you very much. Masa Allah.